A man faces animal cruelty charges after police say he allowed his dog to starve to death. The battle continues. We're in Frankfurt as lawmakers continue to try and work out a budget deal before time runs out. A second Lexington Catholic High School student has come forward saying he was targeted because of his race. What his attorney says happened. This is WQYT News at 5. A man faces charges after police say he allowed his dog to starve to death. Lawrenceburg police tell us they found the dog dead in the man's backyard. They think the pet had been there for several days. WKYT's Mark Barber is tracking the investigation into what happened in, a top, in our top story at 5. The Lawrenceburg police chief says when officers found the dog behind a home here on Rippey Street, the dog appeared to have been dead for a few days. Officers say the dog's owner let the dog starve to death because it was going to the bathroom in his house. The police chief says the old miniature pincher was chained in a backyard without food or water or shelter. After someone called for help, an officer showed up at the home on Sunday, but it was too late. The dog was dead. A source close to the case who does not want to be named says Howard Tennell, the owner of the dog, chained it outside two weeks ago. The source tells WKYT that Hennel kicked the dog and left it outside in the rain and in the cold. When officers found the dog, the witness says its legs were broken. According to court documents, Tennell told police he was responsible and he knew it was not the right way to treat an animal. The 39-year-old was not jailed because he was charged with second-degree animal cruelty. The police chief says that's a misdemeanor offense, and you have to be accused of allowing your dog to fight in order to be charged with felony animal cruelty. Billy Woods thinks the law does not match the alleged crime. That's sad, because if we starved a child to death, we would go to jail. I mean, there's not any difference. They can't speak, neither can kids, so... I think you should serve time for it. The Anderson County Judge Executive says Tennell promised to bury his dog, but when officers came back to his house, the dog was still in the yard. The animal has since been sent on to UK Hospital for testing. Investigators hope to learn how that dog died soon. In Lawrenceburg, Mark Barber, WKYT. And again, the judge executive says Tennell promised to bury his dog, but when officers came back to his house, they say the dog was still in the yard and the animal has been sent to UK for testing. We're tracking the investigation into another case of animal cruelty. Investigators in Lincoln County say Jasper Jesse stomped a dog to death. From jail, Jesse tells us he spanked the dog because it scratched and chewed some furniture. He says he nudged it behind a chair where the animal later died. And they say I stomped it, but sorry, I didn't stomp it. I guess for the, it's a lazy boy chair, and you know how it rocks and it extends. Well, she was under it, and it smashed it. The dog was taken to the UK vet lab, which ruled the dog died of blunt force trauma. Jesse says he lied about the dog's death to keep others from getting upset. Coming up tonight at 6, what he admits to doing to make people think the dog had been poisoned. Legislative leaders have been meeting all day in Frankfurt to try and reach a deal on the state budget. The legislature has until Friday to pass a budget. It appears there has been some progress this afternoon. WKYT's Victor Puente is live at the state capitol with an update. Victor? That meeting still hasn't officially started. We've been told at this point the earliest it will begin is 6 o'clock. But there could still be some sort of deal on the budget, but the deadline for that deal is only a few hours away at this point. And with the session ending at midnight Friday, legislators are planning for a long night as they try to reach a deal. They tell us that they're in private meetings right now. They do that knowing Governor Matt Bevin has said he will not call a special session even if they don't pass a budget. That could lead to a partial government shutdown if there's no budget in place come July 1st. According to the Legislative Research Commission, there's no law saying Bevin is required to call a special session even if there isn't a budget. Yesterday, Bevin said if the government does go into shutdown, he would place the blame on Speaker of the House Greg Stumbo. The disagreements over the budgets includes funding to higher education, coal severance funds, and how much money to put into the state's pension system. The deadline is so close because before that budget can be voted on, it has to be printed, and that's a lengthy process. I think the staff needs, they say 36 hours, they might be able to move that a little bit, but generally you need to have obviously more than a full day to be able to get everything ready in time. So. The state's constitution says this session must end at midnight on Friday, whether there's a budget or not. Live from the Capitol Annex, Victor Puente, WKYT. 
If a shutdown happens, only services required by law and the Constitution would be funded. That includes schools, prisons, and salaries for many elected officials. WKYT has learned another student at Lexington Catholic High School has come forward claiming he was targeted because he's African American. The student's attorney says the boy was assaulted Monday and has left the school. Jennifer Palumbo is at the live desk with details on a story that's new at 5. Jennifer. Sam, the attorney, Amos Jones, was first hired by a mother who says her 14 year old son was involved in a race related incident involving a white teammate on the Lexington Catholic football team. Lexington police have charged a 17 year old boy with harassing communications and terroristic threatening. In this latest case, Jones says the student withdrew from school yesterday after an incident Monday that he calls a case of battery. Jones says the student reported the assault by a white student after former students came forward claiming patterns of discrimination and harassment and cover-ups at the school in recent decades. Jones says the boy is now doing independent study. Private records show the student was repeatedly bullied this semester. In a statement, Jones says the boy's mother described a bunker environment taking hold at the school where some black students increasingly feel under siege. Lexington Catholic President Dr. Steve Angelusi issued a statement just minutes ago saying, quote, no assault allegedly occurring on Monday at Lexington Catholic was reported to school officials. In fact, the school officials did not learn of this alleged assault until Mr. Jones sent a letter to the school's attorney midday on Tuesday. The statement went on to say the school will investigate any allegations or complaints that students or parents bring to their attention. At the live desk, Jennifer Palumbo, WKYT. Thank you, Jennifer. And new on WKYT News at 6, an exclusive interview with the mother of a former Lexington Catholic football player, why she says her son was the victim of a hate crime. A grand jury has indicted a man in a woman's murder. Alan Burgess is accused of shooting Kiara Green and four others at a home on Scottsdale Circle in 2014. Green later died. A Fayette County grand jury indicted Burgess on 10 counts, including murder, assault, and wanton endangerment. A crash closed part of Interstate 75 this afternoon. A pickup pulling a trailer overturned in Madison County. The passenger says a tire on the trailer blew, causing the trailer to fishtail and pull the truck over. No one inside that truck was seriously hurt. I'm thinking that I uh, wasn't sure we'd survive it. I've never been in anything like this. Uh, if it weren't for seat belts and side airbags, I don't think I'd be here. The interstate has since reopened. That truck was on its way to a NASCAR race in Bristol, Tennessee this weekend. We have a string of gorgeous weather days ahead of us. You can expect warm temperatures and dry air. It looks beautiful. WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey's live out enjoying that sunshine at the Kroger in Richmond with the forecast and to help prepare you should the weather turn dangerous later this spring. Hi, Chris. Hi guys, exactly right here in Madison County. A lot of folks are turning out here at the Kroger in Richmond. You can see a few of the folks that are behind me now getting uh, weather radios from Midland. And I've got Jim Caldwell, I've got Micah Harris, both back here, the dynamic duo, doing a little weather programming. Uh, the weather radios themselves, you get them at a discount price here, and then we throw in the programming specifically for whatever county you want. We'll do that for you here. We'll take all the hassle away from it. We're going to be here through 4 o'clock, Richmond, in Madison County at Kroger. So through 7 o'clock, even if you're watching us now from an hour or so away, hey, come on down here, and we'll hook you up with the Midland Weather Radio. It's not going to put it to use in the short term because the weather is just absolutely gorgeous out there across the area. We look outside. Uh, Similar sky cam in Lexington compared to what I am looking at right now here in Richmond. Beautiful skies, a hint of some high clouds that are rolling on into town, and look at those temperatures into the normal. 60s across the entire region. Mid 60s even showing up in some areas. So beautiful weather out there. It's about time. Mother Nature uh, gave us a nice little stretch of gorgeous weather. Defender radar network has been calm. It's been uh, fairly dry for the past few days. Outside of that one front two nights ago, what will happen now, we're going into a calmer pattern. Storm system across the deep south is going to keep a lot of that moisture tied up into the Gulf of Mexico. And that can maybe throw a little light shower into southern Kentucky tomorrow, though the bulk of the seven-day forecast when I come back in a few minutes looks to be 
on the dry side. So, Sam and Amber, it is absolutely picture perfect out here. Good opportunity. Hit uh, Richmond, the Kroger here, and pick up a Midland Weather Radio, and we'll throw in the programming absolutely free if you can put up with the two behind me. We'll send it back to you for now. Good deal. Thank you, Chris. Well, deputies arrested a woman they say got high from huffing. Our county by county coverage begins in Laurel County. The sheriff's office says deputies found Tracy House unresponsive outside a home on Pine Top Road. Deputies tell us at one point she jumped up and started huffing again. Deputies say she told them a child was in the home, but they later discovered the nine year old was at school. She is charged with public intoxication and volatile substance abuse. In Grant County, a volunteer fire department is mourning the loss of their chief. The Jonesville Volunteer Fire Department announcing today that Chief Chase Duvall has died. They did not say how he died, only that it was sudden. Funeral arrangements have not yet been announced. And in Clark County, the sheriff's office is warning about a scam. They say someone is calling people, claiming to be with the sheriff's office, and telling them they missed a court date. The caller tells people to pay a fine or go to jail. The sheriff's office says if you get the call, to write down the number and let them know. The CDC says there's a direct relationship between the Zika virus and a very serious birth defect. More in the findings coming up. Researchers have come up with a new way to diagnose concussions quickly. We'll show you how it works in better living. Firefighters often refer to themselves as a brotherhood, but at the top of this brotherhood, you'll find her, Lexington's first female fire chief. Being a woman in a man's world isn't what makes her unique. Her story, Thursday at 6 on WKYT. At Baptist Health, we want you to know the facts. Visit BaptistHealthDocs.com to view a video of Dr. Jennifer Fusen on minimally invasive surgery. Baptist Health Lexington, be a healthier you. You're going to love what's new at Fazoli's, the create-your-own sampler. You get three choices of Italian deliciousness from 12 Fazoli's favorites. That's over 250 combinations for just $6.99. Only at Fazoli's. Kentucky Lottery's Kino, the exciting way to have fun with your friends every five minutes. Fueling imagination. Funding education. Hey, now would be a great time to give us a call here at America's Window about new windows for your home. You know, our windows are created from the finest quality of materials on the market, bar none. We're talking about additional coatings of low E to help keep your home warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. We're going to give your home an energy upgrade. Why don't you pick up the phone and call us here in Lexington right now, anywhere in the sound of my voice, at 1-800-861-4153. And now, during our Off to the Races sale, save up to 20% on new windows. Ask about zero down, zero interest options for 12 months. Act now and receive a $500 discount certificate good towards your next purchase, just like cash. Savings on new siding, a bath system, e-shield or gutters. Call now at 1-800-861-4153 or come by and see us at 1190 East New Circle Road right here in town during our Off to the Races sale. Shouldn't you have a checking account that makes your life easier? Introducing Easy Checking from Republic Bank. Relax with no minimum balance or monthly maintenance fee. Use our free mobile app to easily send money with mobile pop money. You can even log into our app with a scan of your fingerprint or eye using iPrint ID. Easy checking for your hard earned money. We're Republic Bank, and it's just easier here. From simple to exquisite, Sue Casa has just the right granite for every style and purpose. Home with a 1999 granite kitchen and Lexington's largest selection of stone under one roof. Let Sue Casa bring your dream home. WKYT News is brought to you by Paul Miller Ford. Drive happy. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey.
Hey everyone, welcome back to Kroger in Richmond, Madison County. That is where we are right now, WKYT Midland Weather Radios. Uh, that's why we're here right now. We've got a discount price for those Midland Weather Radios that will alert you for severe weather. We've got them stacked up here, but I want you to look at our shelf over here. That is the response already. We've got our top shelf that was full when we started this is now empty. And we're getting folks that are coming in, buying those Midland Weather Radios, and then we're programming those for free. I say we, I mean Jim. Jim Caldwell, it, it, beneficial though, isn't it? It is beneficial to have them because we have a lady actually just stopped by who mm -hmm. said, I'm moving to Texas. Right. I said, well, listen, honey, I can set you up in Texas as well. And, and she's going to... Gonna go get one, bring it back yeah. out here. I'm gonna set up for the county she's gonna live in because we can set yeah. up for your area. It's fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you need these, especially at night when we're all asleep. That's right, and they work anywhere in the country. And if you just want a specific county for that, we can hook you up here. We've got Jim, we've got Micah here tonight, and uh, they're both doing a little programming. We're here at Kroger in Richmond in Madison County. We'll be here through 7 o'clock. Go weathermen. All right, let's get into the weather part and see what is going on across the region. Beautiful sky cams all across the bluegrass state. We're looking at nine of them and all nine showing a similar scene with a mix of high clouds and some sun. Temperatures into the 60s throughout the entire region. It's finally up to normal. What is that all about and what has been a very cool April so far? Hour by hour forecast, planning the day tomorrow. Temperatures around 40 in the morning into the afternoon. Let's add a few degrees on top of your thermometer this afternoon. We will be mainly into the upper 60s, flirting with 70 degrees, and it should be mainly dry. There's a chance we squeeze out a shower, southern Kentucky, but your Defender Radar Network, no hint of any rain anywhere close to the Bluegrass region or Bluegrass State for that matter. We broaden out that map, though, a lot of that moisture across the deep south is kind of tied up as of now. That'll say Tennessee Valley and points to the south, though I can't rule out a shower or two trying to creep into Kentucky, especially southern half of the area tomorrow. And even southeastern Kentucky, we'll watch your Friday forecast. It's mainly dry though tomorrow into Friday and into Saturday too, with temperatures that will be running above normal as we go toward the weekend. We'll hit the 70s. Here's a quick hour by hour forecast before we get to that seven day. The numbers this evening dropping through the 40s tomorrow morning. Right around 40 in that forecast into the afternoon on your Thursday. Looking good. Chance for a shower, Southern Kentucky. Friday's forecast looking even better with a partly sunny sky. May hit the low 70s. Quick peek at that seven day forecast now, and we will see the 70s that are taking over this weekend into the early part of next week. I can't find one particular day over the next week where I can say, yes, I'm confident that it's going to rain on. This is a mainly dry pattern that we're in for the next week. And guys, with a milder, uh, with a dry pattern comes mainly mild weather. In the heart of spring, I don't think too many folks will complain if we hang dry for the better part of the next week, especially with those kinds of temperatures. Chris, thank you. The CDC now says the Zika virus causes a serious birth defect. More on the findings next. And an accidental call to 911 sends two people to jail on drug charges. What one of the suspects has to say about that on WKYT News at 530. Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender Radar Network in the palm of your hand while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT weather app. I'm Amy Henson. My husband and I founded Rock Bottom Soaps. We use goat milk to make soaps and lotions that help dry, irritated skin. We're members of Appalachian Proud, part of the Kentucky Proud program, which helps local families just like ours. Look for Kentucky Proud products available every day at Kroger. Right now at Kroger, Ale 8 is three for $10 when you buy three. And Kroger Sour Cream or Dip is two for $4. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Kentucky Lottery Jackpot sequence has been initiated. Prepare for current jackpot amount. Wednesday's Powerball jackpot is $184 million. Ever think of how easy your life could be with a lift chair from Burke Furniture? We have a great selection of quality lift chairs to choose from. A lift chair will easily lift you into a standing position and give you the independence you want and the comfort you need. And Burke says lift chairs starting at just $6.69 in all kinds of fabrics and leathers. Go from standing to sitting to reclining, all in one easy motion with an easy-to-use hand control. Improve your lifestyle. Improve the lifestyle of someone you love with a lift chair from Burke Furniture. 
Now during our Off to the Races sale, call us here at America's Window for high-performance Energy Star approved windows that will give your home an energy upgrade. And take advantage of our Off to the Races sale. Save up to 20% on new windows. Ask about zero down and zero interest options for 12 months. Act now and receive a $500 discount certificate good towards your next purchase. Pick up the phone and call during our Off to the Races sale. Hurt in a car accident? We got you. All I did was call. Doesn't cost anything to call. All you do is call. 800-800-4600. What are you waiting for? 800-800-4600. Come on now. Wouldn't it be great to know what your car payment will be before you visit the dealership? Thanks to Your Deal, Your Way, now available exclusively at PaulMillerMazda.com, you can pick your payments and negotiate the best price for your new Mazda. This is the easy, convenient, and private way to get your deal your way. Visit PaulMillerMazda.com to get the deal you love online. Your deal, your way. Points, click, save. PaulMillerMazda.com. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 100.1 WKQQ. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. The Centers for Disease Control now says there is no doubt the Zika virus causes a birth defect that causes babies to be born with abnormally small heads. As Weijia Jiang shows us, the confirmation comes as Congress indicates it might free up funding to fight the virus. The CDC confirms Zika virus causes microcephaly, the condition where a baby's head is abnormally small. It is an unprecedented thing. We are not aware of other infections that are spread by mosquitoes that can cause birth defects. The findings were published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Doctors say they need to know more about the full spectrum of birth defects associated with Zika. Is most of the risk in the first trimester and early second trimester, like we know for uh, microcephaly, or is it something that even if you're infected in the third trimester, there could be problems? Top House Republicans say they will likely grant a portion of President Obama's request for $1.9 billion in Zika funding, but that it probably won't happen until September. I don't understand why Congress has failed to make the serious commitment that our public health professionals indicate they need. The mosquito that spreads the virus is currently present in about 30 U.S. states. While experts don't expect widespread local transmission in the U.S., they say the states need to be prepared. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, Washington. Federal health officials say vaccine trials would likely start in the fall with larger tests next year. A former coal company executive is asking to remain free on bond while he appeals his case. Last week, a federal judge sentenced Don Blankenship to one year in prison. A jury convicted him of conspiring to violate mine safety laws while running Massey Energy's Upper Big Branch Mine. An explosion there in 2010 killed 29 men. His attorneys argue he could end up serving his full sentence before an appeals court reaches a decision. The Texas teenager known for using affluenza as a defense in a drunk driving crash will spend the next two years in jail. Ethan Couch must spend 180 days in jail for each of the four people he killed in the 2013 crash. His jail sentence comes after he violated his parole by taking off for Mexico in December. Likewise. Elementary school students visit an animal shelter to read to the dogs. We'll show you how that's benefiting the children and the animals on WKYT News at 530. <laughs> Researchers test a new and quicker way to diagnose concussions and why you might want to wipe down that treadmill at the gym before your next workout. The story's next in Better Living. Get WKYT news and weather updates on News Radio 630 WLAP. Want to save energy and money? By replacing an older refrigerator or freezer, you can save hundreds of dollars on your energy costs. And we'll pick up and recycle the old one for free. Turn that old appliance into cash. To schedule your pickup, call today. A message from Kentucky's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. 
love grocery shopping at Kroger, but sometimes life gets busy. So I use ClickList. It's easy. I just order online. And with thousands of great items and fresh food to choose from, I can get what I want the way I want it, then pick up my order at the store without ever leaving my car. And for me, that's a game changer. Order online, pick up curbside at store. We think you're going to love ClickList. Try it now at Kroger.com slash ClickList. Blue Cross Medical Aesthetics wants to help you on the path to wellness and healthy youthful aging. Hormone replacement, medically supervised weight loss, Botox, Kybella, and more. Located in Georgetown next to Qdoba. Visit us at BMAKY.com. I love Spain. This food, the wine, the tapas. I want to stay here forever. Well, we're not in Spain. We're home. I know, but this food is so delicious. Then it's like a Spain-cation. Head to Kroger for authentic recipes, specially imported foods, and delicious meal ideas at the Taste of Spain event. Cook up fresh Purdue boneless chicken breasts for just $1.99 a pound. And sweet red, yellow, or orange bell peppers are now 10 for $10 at Kroger. Hey, you've been thinking about new windows. Give your home an energy upgrade and say big during our Off to the Races sale here at America's Window. Call us right now, 1-800-861-4153 for beautiful windows. Now we have lots of colors to choose from, including wood grains on the inside. Why don't you come by and see us, 1190 East New Circle Road, right here in town. Check us out on the web at americaswindowusa.com. You're going to love our new windows. Now's the time to take advantage of our Off to the Races sale and save up to 20% on new windows. We're talking about high-performance Energy Star approved windows only from us here at America's Window. Look at the financing. Ask about zero down, zero interest options for 12 full months. That'll help your pocketbook. Act now and receive a $500 discount certificate good towards your next purchase. Maybe you thought about siding, a new bath, e-shield, or gutters. Pick up the phone and call today at 1-800-861-4153 during our Off to the Races sale. Call now. If you have questions about overtime violations or the wage and hour laws in our state, visit ForThePeople.com to learn more. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. Nominate your favorite teacher today. Go to WKYT.com slash teacher. It is time now for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. Researchers in California are looking at a new way to diagnose concussions in athletes quickly and easily. Danielle Nottingham shows us how a headset might be able to help. High school junior Cordell Ross says he blacked out after making a tackle in football practice last year. They had me try to remember five words, and I couldn't remember any of them. And then they try to make me like stand up and try to walk, but I couldn't do it. Ross is part of a study testing a faster way to detect concussions. It involves this headset called a transcranial Doppler. Scientists demonstrated how it works for us. It uses ultrasound to map blood flow changes in the brain. The brain is very good at regulating blood flow, and during a concussion, it impairs the ability for the brain to regulate blood flow. The study done by the company Neural Analytics compared ultrasounds of more than 200 high school athletes. Researchers say they were able to tell if a player had a concussion 83% of the time. Researchers say the ultimate goal would be to use the portable ultrasound headset on the sidelines so coaches can determine if an injured athlete needs more tests. Right now, we're in the research phases of this. Ross's football coach says the headset would help him do his job. Tools like this are, you know, tools that I think are going to go a long way to making coaches and everyone feel like, okay, I think we have a handle on this. And help better protect his athletes so they can keep pursuing their dreams. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Gardena, California. Students in the study took part in many different kinds of sports, including football, soccer, basketball, cheerleading, and track. The study included both boys and girls. Well, you need to work out to stay healthy, but gyms can be loaded with germs. Fit Rated, a fitness equipment review site, tested equipment from three different national gym chains. They found free weights were the germiest with 362 times more bacteria than a toilet seat. Treadmills have 74 times more germs than a public restroom sink. And exercise bikes have 39 times more than a cafeteria tray. Experts say the findings should not scare you off from the gym. Just wipe down equipment before and after 
sure you use it and wash your hands whenever your workout is over. Unemployment rates fell in most Kentucky counties last year. The state says 115 counties saw their rates drop from 2014 to 2015. The rate rose in four counties and stayed the same in one. Woodford County had the lowest rate, while McGoffin County had the highest. Now, here's what's coming up for you at 530.